Okay, going to step on my scale. Uh, come on, I said. <laughs> Cooperate with me, buddy. Alright. And that's what I am right now. 181.8. And we'll see what that said. So you see, just a few minutes ago, I was 181.2. Um, that was right before I ate and drank more water. So, that's basically where I'm at. Now, the other day, uh, let me get this off my neck. Um, the, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> the other day, I was, um, I even got down to 179, but, um, and which I was even right when I woke up this morning, uh, just a few minutes ago <laughs> after my, my nappy. And then, um, anyway, so here, look, I have done some decorating. My hair is all crazy. <laughs> and see, I am ready for St. Patrick's Day because I love St. Patrick's Day. Wait, wait, you haven't seen the last of it because, oh my God, it's nice out. See, and I'm lazy. I have to go to the gym just a little bit. And so basically, this is, um, I like to go kind of all out for St. Patrick's Day because I'm Irish. <laughs> and um, Irish actually runs pretty deep on both my mom and my dad's side. So I try to do all the holidays, honestly. I even took a a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and then I got my flags because I love them. Anyway, so yeah, that's basically what's up with that. And, <laughs> um, but I just like to decorate. And then, um, this is, um, oh my, my counter is so messy. But anyways, look at my new counter. Isn't that pretty? And then, um, my ceiling fan. And he did the, the, um, the, all the cabinets inside or the shelves. And, um, um, let's see, um, I have my coffee stuff, sorry, um, I should clean before I try to do house tour, <laughs> but anyway, so he's, he did so good, and then of course, it really ties in with my curtains, and my coffee decorations, and, um, because these, like, go here, you know. Anyway, um, it's just all messy. <laughs> so, these are clean dishes, I swear. But anyways, um, and then it just ties together, even though i got a huge mask on it. But, yeah, um, it's looking good. But anyway, um, okay, so, enough for house tour stuff. Uh, so you see how my weight, it goes up and down, and it's so annoying. In fact, I'm kind of re-watching a video on the forum, you know, about the scale enemy or friend. Uh, enemy. <laughs> um, it's always like, sometimes it'll be like, yay, and then, and then other times it'll be like, Ugh, you know, and yes, I moved that damn scale around the floor trying to get a better reading. Um, my cat likes to sit on the damn thing. I have to, like, fight for, to get on there. Um, uh, I weigh myself before I go to bed, when I wake up, after I sleep, after I exercise, before I exercise. Um, I count myself. I'm on that scale constantly. I'm on that scale so many times. I even just said, forget it, and started writing it down. So, like, when I first woke up this morning, I was 181.0, and which I wrote down. And then, um, and then I went back to bed because I'm tired. My, my husband wakes up so, you know, he has to get up early for work. So, apparently, I have to get up early with him. <laughs> and, um, then... It gets to be like 8 in the morning. I've already had my coffee. And then it's like, oh, I should go to the gym. Hmm, but I'm tired. I'm going to go back to bed. Because I work nights and I have to still work later. So, um, And yeah, I feel like going to the gym. But 
I also feel like sleeping. So what I do is so I call it kind of my nap and I go back to bed till around noon. That's kind of my routine lately. I should get a better routine, but that's what I do. And then when I woke up, I was 179.8 and I'm like, woo, but I was hungry as can be. My stomach felt empty as heck. So I drank um, a, like a bunch of this water and then plus I had my protein bar, which it was the choice between do I want to have a regular lunch or do I just feel like grabbing this bar and then I need to get dressed and go to the gym. The MP3 player is charged. I really have no excuse. So as soon as I make this video, because it's 1243 already, I need to get my lazy butt out because it's now it's nice. It was cold earlier, like 48. Anyway, so I really, really like this special, let's see, Kellogg's Fiber Plus Antioxidants Protein Bar. It has 10 grams of protein and 7 grams of fiber. I like to get the, it just says peanut. And it has like chocolate and stuff on it. That's bomb. I think it's delicious. Um, and it's only 190 calories, I believe. And it's really good, you know. It's it's easy for a kind of a quick thing to fill you up after a workout, before a workout, whatever. It's just something. It's a treat. It's like a candy bar. My husband likes them. If that tells you that, you know. And so he, I have to tell him. I've said if I only, have one, you know, I don't mind if you have them, but if I only have one or two left, please don't eat them. <laughs> I bought him like little granola bars. But these are really good. He really likes them as well. They're really, they're better for you and they fill you up. So I like them. Out of, and I went around trying a whole bunch of different ones. I was kind of on sample time and this is the best ones that I found. Um, so anyways, I got back to it. Last week was um, PMS. This week I started randomly with no, you know, it didn't really tell me what's up. Um, and I, so I'm... I'm basically today, today's Monday, yeah, I'm on the time of the month, day four, so um, I've had to deal with all that whole symptoms and weight gain and all of that, and I'm really glad that I started keeping track of both, and it really coincides all the PMS and the time of the month and the ovulation time and all of that coincides with how I'm losing, how I'm feeling, so it really helps me. And um, I, I just try to up my water and my activity and everything when I know that I'm, even though I don't feel like it for the, and it helps with the cramping and the filling blah and the weight gain. So far, that's what's really helped. So, um, um, and I was 184 last Monday. And today I'm, I was 181 when I woke up. And you've seen I was 181.8 right now after having um, breakfast, lunch, and water and stuff. So anyways, I'm going with 181. That's minus 3 pounds. At least the scale is going back the right way. Uh, it keeps teasing me with that 179.8. Damn it, I really <laughs> want that. Um, it even had said 178 the other day, but I was all like, what? 178? And then I jumped back on it and it said something different. And I'm like, damn. But it's there. I've seen it. How about that? So it's in the line, you know, the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Because once I get out of the 170s, I can get my really pretty pink running shoes. And that is like, like I see other people with the shoes like that, like bright running shoes. And I'm all like drilling on. I'm like, oh, I want those. I want those so bad. And my husband wants to just, you know, he's taking me to the store a few times. Come on, just try on shoes. Let's, let's get you some shoes. And I'm like, I, so I had to really explain to him. I was like, I want them really bad, but I want to earn them. So I also want to lose weight really bad. So um, I made it so I get shoes when I get out of these 170s. And I'm only barely in them sometimes. So another 10 pounds basically and um i can get them so that's my first goal and that should be around my birthday my birthday um or my son's birthday yeah in, this year i've talked about is significant because my oldest son is turning 21 march 18th so therefore this is the year like right now i would have been pregnant with him 
and um and uh and this is i never had to worry about weight until i had him <laughs> of course i was very young but still you know it's always and i was 118 before i got pregnant i'm not trying to go down to 118 damn it but i want to be like i want to just get down to where i want to be and then just maintain it and not have to worry about it so uh that's kind of the goal and i just want to look good and be happy so yeah I, and um so that's kind of what's up so and of course i miss my kids so much and um of course they never call me i always have to call them and it's so hard to get hold of them but uh that's what's going on so um oh and i went to a wedding <laughs> I went to a wedding and got really drunk um, when I came home because it was kind of a, it kind of wrapped it up here and it's our neighbors downstairs. So yeah, I had way too much to drink, and I ended up running to a wall. <laughs> like I really did. It hurt still. And um, it was the door jam. I thought I was walking through my bedroom door, but apparently I was walking straight into the door jam. Yay. Um, and anyways, so. And I drank too much margaritas, and I had too much pasta and whatnot, and I oh, way overdid it. When I tried to figure out the calories for the next day, and I'm probably overestimating, I ended up having like twelve or fifteen hundred dollar calories extra. So that's a whole day's worth. Um, so I did not do everything in moderation on that day, that for damn sure. But I had a great time. So. Um, I survived a wedding <laughs> and now I'm just back to it so yep so I'll see you next Monday I've lost three pounds this time and um, um, hopefully this thing isn't all up in my face and um, all right there I made a video I'm not very consistent on making these videos so I'm trying and I just live in life and and working and trying to be on top of it so I've got Look, I've been I've been doing good. I've been keeping my journal, and I've been going on MFP, my fitness pal. I've been trying to keep up with my um my groups. I know I I have not done the Walking Dead challenge. It sounds awesome and all, but I don't have time to um assignments. Is that horrible? But I just don't have time for like working out the way that you want me to work out and that type of thing. It just sounds amazing. All the power to everyone else. I just, um, it's, I'm, I'm challenged already with keeping the journals and going and logging in on my fitness pal and, and talking to the people on the Facebook groups and whatnot. So, and I, I have a hard time like getting to these videos. Like seriously, that's, I'm watching the forum now. I'm trying to catch up on people's videos. I comment here and there, but so that's what's up. And, um, um, uh, I'll see you guys next Monday.